Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm so excited to show you guys this whole process. I have started this in August 2018. It's been a long time coming and I really want to show you guys my progress, my tips and tricks because I would have loved to see this type of video circling around when I had my Invisalign. So please make sure to smash that like button because this took me a really long time to film edit. This was a journey. I kind of missed out on a few clips while I was at the dentist, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys the missing information via text on the screen, but most of the stuff I did get, so I hope that this helps you guys, and I will see you at the end of the video to show you my official results. So I just got my aligning clinic check, so I'm going to be getting my braces, my Invisalign two weeks and I just paid fifteen hundred dollars. I'm excited. I hope it doesn't hurt. I look like a mess but I'm going into my appointment now. I'm gonna get my braces and my Invisalign today. Dental lounge. I am done. Oh my god. I feel like Lil Zan. I am coming back in three months. They gave me everything that I need. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it was gonna hurt so. So this is the big reveal. I can barely talk. I feel like fucking little Zan. <laughs> okay, so today is the second day of my Invisalign aligners. I come into the dentist, they start filing away at my teeth. And so I have this gap on my tooth right here. They were filing all of the front of my teeth. They started putting on the attachments. I'm pretty sure that they put some numbing either cream or I'm not sure because it didn't hurt for the first couple of hours and I thought it was gonna be fine then at night time I legitimately like was in so much pain I felt like my teeth were getting pushed together and I still feel like that and it actually have gotten so much worse and as for like day-to-day -day living it is so much harder to eat like if you're just at home it's completely fine but if you're out like I was out with my boyfriend basically all day and he legit like didn't snack next to me didn't eat or anything because i couldn't eat because i felt so awkward taking the trays out like in public so they give us this little tray and then there's a blue one as well you have to have this obviously 22 hours of the day and take it out when you're eating so i thought that was going to be so bloody easy to do you have to brush your teeth afterwards and clean it when you take it out so there's basically no opportunity to really eat unless you go somewhere private or you go to the bathroom like if you go to lunch with your boyfriend or dinner with, the, or with someone like it is incredibly hard so that is the one thing that has really been annoying me it just feels like i have a constant headache but like in my mouth like that has been my experience i'm gonna clean these now because i watched a bunch of youtube videos i didn't know how to take it off on the first day and i had to read the brochure so apparently i have to take it off at the very back first i thought i was doing it correctly and i have to go to the dentist on monday so he could actually teach me how to do it properly because <laughs> two attachments have fallen out and I really need those attachments because they actually stick onto the trays and make your teeth good. I guess we'll have to see what happens. I just wanted to give you guys an Invisalign update. So this is the third night and it honestly feels like the 50th week. I didn't really film on the first night and I'm sorry about that. Basically we just got some Thai food and I was honestly so frustrated because we always go out me and Stan to have some food. It was just really hard because we didn't eat all day because I didn't know how to take my Invisaligns out and then we didn't get home until like late at night and I still haven't eaten anything but breakfast and so I had to figure out how to take off my Invisaligns and then we ate and I was like being like how the hell am I going to do this for nine months going out taking it out in public but you just got to find a place that's pretty private or go into a bathroom two negatives just straight off the bat oh my god the pain is so real taking them off and on every time you eat is also so horrible plus sides i feel like my teeth are already wider and i've been drinking less coffee and eating less the third night isn't going too well either it's so much pain it's just my lisp is going away but oh my god if you can see i feel like there's already a big difference you know how you lose a little bit of weight and no one notices but because your own body you know so that's kind of like me like We getting better. I am so tired. My teeth hurt. 
I don't even know. I also just wanted to show you this. So this is the starter kit that they give you. And it just has two of the Invisalign packs. I am using this one because it's red and it's cute. So it says 22 hours in the day. Just open it up like that and you always put it in. Make sure to always put it in when you eat or stuff like that. And this is my dentist for anyone who wants to know. They're pretty good. User information guide, yes. It has instructions. Legit, as soon as I take my Invisaligns off, I'm just like, I can totally see a difference in it. If I ate and then brush my teeth at like 8 p.m., do I have to brush my teeth again? Even though I didn't eat at like 2 a.m. Or can I just go to sleep? I'm just gonna go to sleep and research. So I'm having peanut butter on bread and it is hurting me so much. These teeth here and the ones at the bottom don't know what to do. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait, but I'm just going to be like ripping it apart in chunks and having tiny little pieces. Honestly, it is the year for self-improvement. I'm so bad at it. Tooth update. So sorry for looking like a mess. It has been one week and I have lost one kilogram, number one. My teeth are wider, number two. Number three, I'm more affected by coffee since I don't drink as much, so I have more energy when I drink the coffee. And number four, I already can see a difference in my teeth. And number five, it doesn't hurt after a week. Like, I feel like I can get the trays in already, put new ones in because I feel like they're already falling out of my mouth for some reason. Like, it doesn't feel like I have anything in, but I have something like, like, they're not moving, but there's still something weird in my mouth. So I really want the new ones. The dentist said that it's better to wait and do the full two weeks, every single week, because that will get the best results, number one. And number two, it will actually last longer. Your teeth will be learning that this is the place for your teeth now, if that makes sense. So I'll just do a little close up. This is how they look now. Today is going to be the day where I'm going to be changing over my trays for the first time ever. These are my first trays since I got the new Invisaligns and I've been taking photos so I've been taking photos for the past three weeks after a week the trays completely have loosened up I don't feel like they're in my mouth anymore it would have been cool if I could take them out after 10 days but they keep on saying that it's better for my teeth if I do it more slowly this is how it looks like these two have come out. It's crazy how much they've come out. I'm definitely liking this experience. I was a little bit anxious at the start because I'm like, how am I going to socialize? How am I going to go out and eat? Like, while well, I have these trays in and like I have to take them out. When you start doing it three times a day, it just seems like a second nature thing to you. That was my number one main worry and that is completely, completely vanished. I'm already so confident with my teeth. Like, I'm already smiling more. This is now officially the third week of Invisalign. I'm pretty much completely used to them now they don't hurt at all it's just the weird thing of having to take them off every single time you want to eat i honestly got used to it after i put my second trays in i was kind of scared but after one night it stopped hurting my Invisalign treatment, I'm going in again to get my blades fitted and get new trays. It's January. We're almost there. This how they be looking like. I feel like they're a little bit more crooked towards this side, but other than that, tufts are looking so much better and I'm going to take some photos now. And yes, I'm literally butt-ass naked right now. Hey guys, so just as a really quick tooth update, this is now my fifth month and I'm really enjoying this whole process, but I just want to get them out as soon as possible. I still am not used to the feeling and um, I'm used to having them, taking them out, like eating with them and stuff, but I just can't wait to have those, you you know, perfect teeth. You really gotta double check and see what fits you for your dental plan because when I went to my dentist it was really unclear about the plan that they gave me. Once it was every three months and now it's gone back to every six weeks and then sometimes it's every month so you have to double check and see what plan is right for you for when they tell you about it because when they told me about my plan it sounded good but then they didn't tell me the full story so I was really confused so always double check and see like alright what months and how much am I gonna 
gonna have to pay because they're really unclear about the payment plan and I paid a lot a lot more than I planned initially there was a lot of miscommunication but with that being said like I'm on my way to getting incredibly straight teeth so I'm really excited about that I'm now even more confident smiling and I have much more straighter teeth now than I did at the start and I can't stop looking at them and I still have four months they always hurt the first couple of days but then it goes away and then you get totally used to them I've had even more people say that they didn't even realize that I had Invisaligns and I have been filming this episode for my work online and no one has said a single thing I've been filming it for millions of people and no one has said anything no one has really noticed so I'm really liking the experience overall so far. Hey guys, so I'm on to my 13th trays out of 18 now, and I'm putting my new dentures in. Um, <laughs> I began to call them that, but my friends might like, need to take my dentures out. I feel as though my friends are more awkward about it than I am. They're like, how do I open this? I've been opening these things since August. Now I don't know all of a sudden. And then I also used to put it on at night um, as I was sleeping. But like, I don't feel like that's necessary. Mine don't hurt as much. Technically, I could have had these for like four months. But because they wanted to slow down the process, it only hurts for like a day. This is my tooth progress. Not by a lot, um, my gap still hasn't closed. This is my, I don't like this, and this, I need to shave this down, so it's still a work in progress. So I feel like this is the main problem. It's like in, kind of like this, and I want to be more out. And I don't know how that's going to work, because I have like two months left. And I love new trays because it looks like my teeth are really white. After these trays, I get a free tooth whitening that's worth like 600 bucks, and I'm just like, <laughs> can't wait for that. Hack. It's actually so much easier to take these off with the nails because they're longer and you can use them as tools. I feel as though I get kind of a lisp. Okay, so I'm gonna go to work. So I haven't done my makeup, so bye! Teeth update. These are how my teeth are looking like. I have two months left. So I got my last trays in. So here are my last four, three, four trays because these are my fourth ones. So, oh my god, week 16, week 17, and week 18. So here are my teeth. So as you can see here, these teeth have definitely come out a bit more. I'm still yet to wait for this one to come out even more. Update to do with food. It is getting quite annoying now going to cafes with my friends and having to take it out. Um, I thought I'd be used to it, but it's, it, it, it reached its peak of like, I'm used to it, yeah, this is fine. And now I'm kind of getting super annoyed at it again. They're not like insanely perfect, so I'm not sure if I'm going to ask to put them in for longer. Um, I guess we'll have to see in two months, but those are my updates. I just wanted to come on here and say that it is my last Invisalign tray. I hope, let me expand on that, but look at this, 18th of 18th. First of all, my teeth are pretty straight, right? But they're not straight, straight. Like they're not as straight as I want them to be. And I'm like, somehow by some miracle of God, this is going to, you know, put them all together. So I don't think so. Still might not be my last trays, but let's see the process. So if I never demonstrate how to take these off, probably not the smartest idea to do it as, you know, you guys are finishing your trays, but why? So gross. Voila. The reason why it also looks pretty crooked is because these teeth are not aligned. I want to get them to actually file them down so it's like a straight line if that makes sense. So they say that you can't have it on for less than 22 hours um, per day and I've been doing 22 hours like on the dot. Biggest advice, I know a lot of people have been saying this but it is so true. Make sure to put these babies on before you go to sleep because you don't realize the pain when you're in bed and I didn't follow my own advice for a couple of the times and I put them in in the morning and I'm just like well my whole entire mouth is killing me right now hello this is on my second week of the refinements I feel like they haven't really changed as much updates in terms of longevity it's taking forever I'm kind of annoyed they don't look like they're really changing that much like I don't even know if the refinement is going to um, work I have my trays in all the time like 100% it's definitely 22 hours in the day so I'm not really sure what's going on but like I do see a difference um, I'm just kind of worried I don't know if it's going to be enough okay so the 
this is my last, second last time I'm going to the dental lounge. Getting my last four set of trays. Don't have to um, go to the dentist anymore. I mean, other than this time at the very, very last time. Hey guys, how are we all doing? I just wanted to come on here and give you some updates on my teeth. It is now the 8th of November 2019 and I am about five weeks away from permanently getting my Invisalign off. I don't care at this point. Whatever it's gonna look like in five weeks, it's gonna look like in six weeks. Um, I've had realignment trays for three times now. This is my third time. And these are my last trays ever. I'm really happy with them, but the very like bottom ones are, are still a little bit crooked. So what I did was ask for a third time and then I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the tops as well And they were like, what are you talking about? Like it's fine And I'm like, no, like I'm not really happy with them So they sent it off again to Invisalign because all, first all they wanted to do was change my bottoms Because they're like, yeah, the bottoms are still crooked, but the tops are perfect And I'm like, they, I don't know what it is about them, but they weren't I'm more happy with them now but so they sent it to Invisalign and Invisalign's like, yeah, we're gonna give the top six weeks and just bring the canines, canines out so it just looks more out, sort of, like not in. And then have seven weeks for the bottoms because they were like, two of these teeth are a little bit out. I'll show you in a second. Oh, I just put my new trays in yesterday. So I have five weeks left. And I don't know when I filmed the last time and hopefully I have all of the footage. But basically the updates are that I've had them in for like a year and a half now Which it was meant to be originally nine months, which I'm fine about like I would rather like do five years of this Just to have like perfectly straight teeth that I'm happy with for the rest of my life than to like do a half ass You know what I mean? But I've been basically like really good throughout my whole entire process Like I've been having them in for 22 hours other people saying oh my god Yeah, it's so annoying like I take them out when I'm filming YouTube videos when I'm like out at a party And I'm like I literally have no shame and no one has ever noticed anything apart from the time when I had my button at the very front for my second realignment like even then no one has said anything and every time I say oh I have Invisalign they're like ha like they only know when I'm going out to lunch with them and I'm eating you know what I mean but no one even like flinches and I I don't even care anymore I literally take them out in public like eh, eh, pop them right off easiest is when you have fake nails because literally it just comes in handy so well you can just use them as a device to take your uh, trays off I really like it because honestly Invisalign dies like I always want to eat something and then I'm like no I have my trays in can't be bothered just taking it out like this is the one thing like I'm actually scared of taking them out permanently because I'm like I really liked having them in so I could lose weight like literally they helped so much basically that's it that's all of the updates I'm super excited for my process let me just show you guys I'm really happy with them because they look pretty straight let me just take them out that's how you take them out and it's just a little bit here that needs to be worked on, but nothing major. I'm super happy with it. I literally smile with my teeth all the time. Before, literally in all of my photos, I do this. And I like smiling like that, and I think I'm never going to stop smiling like that, because I just... Like, I, I feel like I look like a creep. This is why I don't do a lot of updates as well, because now there's not a lot to update. Like, they're just moving. I have completely forgotten to actually take photos every week. And for that, I am sorry. Hopefully, this still helps you in deciding whether you want Invisaligns or not. Okay, so we have traveled in time. It's actually the 29th of January, 2021. Yes, coronavirus is a thing. I finished my Invisaligns a really long time ago. I just stopped vlogging towards the end because everything that was important was at the start of my journey because it was like a lot of big changes and then I just had to wait. So I had a total of 18 trays at the very start and then three refinements. If you guys want the perfect smile, don't be afraid to keep asking for refinements. It depends on your dentist though, like some offer free refinements, my dentist had a cap of three. They just kept on working on my teeth until I was happy with the results. So. Here are my teeth, I'm so happy. I'll show you guys a photo of my original teeth and my finished results and I am so, so incredibly happy with them. They are perfect. Like, they are close to veneers when they're not veneers, but they're also very natural looking. I chipped them when I was 20 while I was working, and the dentist that I went to when I was 20 didn't really fix it as much as I would have liked. So these guys really did just really nicely shave it off to make it look 
perfect and they shaved the bottoms too so everything just looked perfect i'm so so happy with the results let me talk to you about the retainers real quick so i actually have two retainers and the dentist gave me an option of three diff different ones but the compulsory ones are the overnight retainers so these are just a thicker kind of version of the invisalign and you put them on overnight and once you make it a habit it's actually very easy what you must 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 do guys please is actually wear these because your teeth will go back to normal and you paid a lot of money for these things and your time and money was wasted. I urge you guys to use these every single night and then she's like, to be sure, either we can give you these other stronger dentist retainers that you can wear or a more expensive version but it's like better in the long run are the wires at the top and the bottom of your teeth. Now hearing this out loud really scared me. I was like, I don't want forever wires. Like why did I spend money on Invisalign when they're going to go back to normal. Well, that's just the nature of things. And my dentist said that it depends genetically on different people. Some people, you don't have the wires in and genetically their teeth just don't, you know, shift at all and it's perfect. Some people don't have the wires in and their teeth go back to normal within like a matter of months. So you really don't want that happening to you, especially again, as you spent so much money and you spent so much time on them. So really would advise you to get the wires. I had a lisp one day with them and also they didn't glue it on properly the first time because I bit in to hard bread once and it like shifted off completely the top so I had to go back and I've had them on now for three four five months now and I've had no problems with them it's annoying sometimes I get some food stuck in there but not really like very easy actually like I just play around with my tongue a little bit and the food flies out and then they gave me free complimentary teeth whitening which I absolutely loved and they lasted on my teeth for a long time and I do want to keep on going back every single year to do it again super happy those are all my tips I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions make sure to comment them down below i respond to every single comment or dm me on instagram i really do hope that this helped you and i'll see you in the next video guys bye